Last week before the fantasy playoffs, I'm Dustin. Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. Heading to the all-important week 13. Hopefully your teams are in a nice position for either already in the playoffs or hopefully getting one of those last few spots. Before we get into it, thank you to our sponsor, projectorpeople.com. Certified dealers, and they offer lifetime tech support. If you got any type of projector project, a home theater, if you're trying to do one of the outdoor uh, theaters with the projector, check them out. They're the ones to talk to. All they deal with is projectors. Check out the link in the description. So a few things. I shoot this before the Monday night game, so keep that in mind. I rank these in order of how I would pick them up, keeping to a, into account 0.5 PPR. And I always start, start with my pickup of the week. Brent tried to coin it last week, the name co pick of the week, but no, it's just the pickup of the week. And this week, we're going with Josh Gordon. And I know he hasn't played football in a long time, but he's one of the best receivers that we've seen over the last handful of years or so. I know he hasn't played. I know he's on a terrible offense. But the reports have already come out. They're going to play him as much as he can handle. It's going to be very hard to plug him right into your lineup, especially week 13. But you got to pick him up just because the upside's way too high, only on 50% of leagues. Pick him up, stick him on your bench, see what happens. Let's talk running backs Rex Burkhead. At this point, it looks like he is the guy to own for New England in terms of just having the highest ceiling. Deion Lewis, obviously, he's getting a lot between the tackle work, has looked really good. But Burkhead found the end zone a couple times, and he's looking like the highest upside running back for the uh, Patriots moving forward. Mike Davis, only on 5% of leagues a couple weeks ago. He got the start, looked amazing, then got hurt. Then they went back to Lacey week 12, but now they're saying Davis should be ready for week 13. Makes him interesting. He needs to be owned in a lot more than 5% of leagues just because of that. Kenyon Drake, I want to talk about, owned in 60% of leagues. Williams got banged up. Looks like he's not going to play week 13. This should be more touches for Drake. He's got a tough matchup, but he should be a decent volume play if you need a running back week 13. And then Devontae Booker. Booker. Looks like he's the running back to own as of now in Denver. It's still kind of a mess. That offense is kind of a mess, but he was very close to scoring a touchdown week 12. He would have had a much bigger week. But Booker, moving forward, if you're desperate, he looks like the guy that's going to be the one to own for Denver. A few more running backs I want to talk about. I want to talk about Jacquez Rogers with Tampa Bay. Doug Martin, Doug Martin got banged up. He could be out week 13. And I got uh, Peyton Barber down on this list as well. Barber found the end zone, but I do think Rogers would be the one to pick up if Martin were to miss time. And then Rod Smith I want to talk about only on a 15% of leagues. With them, with the Cowboys dropping McFadden or cutting McFadden, it's obvious that they like Smith. He's going to have a role moving forward. He found the end zone week 12. He could be, you know, a, a dart throw each week. He's not going to be consistent, but he does have some upside. And then, like I talked about just a second ago, Peyton Barber, if Doug Martin misses, he could be a, a guy that could be a desperation play if, uh, if Doug Martin ends up not playing. Shout out to our FanDuel winner for week 12. I am the dude, 1976, took it down. FST Mike had another close call, but I am the dude, took it down. They're going to get the t-shirt. They get the cash. If you haven't played in our game yet, click on the link in the description. It's a lot of fun. We're all in there. And if you haven't signed up for FanDuel, click on the link. Do that as well. Deposit 10 more dollars. You get a free entry into the Sunday Million, which is a $7 game. So it's a no-brainer to sign up just to play in that. Wide receivers, Cooper Cup. You know, Robert Woods, they said he's going to miss at least two weeks. So that would put him back, you know, at the earliest week 14. But he might miss more games. And Cup looks like he's going to get a nice bump with that, uh, with that injury to Woods. So I think Cup could have some value down the stretch if Woods continues to miss games. D.D. Westbrook got involved a lot more week 12. And it looks like he could have some upside down the stretch. Jags offense... Had some success week 12. You know, Bortles has looked pretty good, and I like their matchup week 13 against Indy. So PPR leagues, I think D.D. Westbrook could be a guy to snag. I think he has value down the stretch. Zay Jones only on 15% of leagues. I don't think Benjamin plays week 13. I mean, it's possible, but I think Jones could have value down the stretch. He plays New England twice from, the, from here on out in the fantasy uh, schedule, so I don't mind Jones down the stretch. A couple more receivers I want to talk about, Seth Roberts and Cordero Patterson for Oakland. You know, they're saying that Cooper is okay. You know, he's going through the concussion protocol. I'd say he's probably 50-50 to play week 13. We've seen a lot of big hits where players come back and they still play the next week. But if he misses, Roberts and Patterson, 
Could be high upside guys. They have a nice matchup going up against the Giants week 13. So I think they could be, you know, nice deep league plays if, uh, if Cooper ends up missing. Quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. I don't know if you saw him warming up before their, their game week 12, but the guy looks ready to play. If he gets cleared, even if the Packers are out of the playoff race, I feel like he's going to want to play. I mean, we'll see, but you know, to have a chance to just pick up Aaron Rodgers and have him for week 15 and 16, I think you just need to pick him up, see what happens, especially if your team, you know, if your league has a bye week and you're one of the teams getting a bye, just pick up Rodgers at the very least to prevent other teams from getting him so than playing, them, playing him against you. So I think Rodgers should be owned in more leagues. Blake Bortles looks good week 12, matchup against Indy week 13. I do not mind Blake Bortles this week. I think he will be probably in our top 15 at quarterback in our rankings this week. Then Blaine Gabbert, the guy looked good, only on a 5% of leagues. I love his matchup down the stretch. He's got the Rams, the Titans, Washington, and the Giants. So, you know, any type of two-quarterback league, really deep league where you're just looking for an upside guy, you know, it definitely looks like the, the Cardinals are going with Gabbert moving forward. I don't think Palmer comes back this year, so he could be an interesting guy down the stretch. And then one other guy, Jimmy Garoppolo for the 49ers. As I'm shooting this video, they haven't announced who they're going for who they're going with week 13. But he comes in, gets a few snaps, throws a touchdown, gets the fans excited. You know, I think probably the coaching staff and the front office probably wish he hadn't done what he did because now all the questions are going to be, who's your starter, who's your starter? It's going to be interesting. I don't know if he'll start, but in really deep leagues, two quarterback leagues, I think he's worth picking up just until we see what happens because he could have some value down the stretch. Tight end Charles Clay, he looks healthy. You know, I think he's a low-end tight end one when he's healthy, so he needs to be on in more than 35% of leagues. And then Ricky Seals-Jones for Arizona. You know, we had him on this list last week just because we had to talk about him after his big week 11. But it seemed kind of fluky, but now he's done it two weeks in a row, and we talk about it all the time when there's a quarterback switch. A lot of times they favor different players, and, and, and since Gabbert's taken over, Seals-Jones has been the man, only on 5% of leagues. I think he's someone to, you know, be weary about, but also get excited about at the same time. You know, if you're really not liking your tight end, he's a guy that you can plug in your lineup and at least be excited about it and see if he can do it another week. Some pick up and play defenses for you. Chargers, they got Cleveland week 13, so you got to be excited about that. They're only on 35% of leagues. And then Green Bay, they're on 35% of leagues as well. They got Tampa Bay. You know, I don't love Green Bay's defense, but I think they'll have some success against Tampa. So that's the list. Click on the... Link in the description to get into our FanDuel game. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you got questions, you got lineup questions, you got waiver wire questions, post them in this video, and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Good luck on the wire, and hopefully your teams are getting ready for those playoffs.